Hi, this is Brad Constantine, and this is a podcast recording of the Old Testament. Although this is not an official recording of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, every effort's been made to be as doctrinally accurate as possible. I'll be using for the text the Joseph Smith translation of the Old Testament, along with many commentaries from general authorities of the Church, BYU professors, Bible scholars, and others. This format will be very detailed, and so if you want a deep analysis of the Old Testament, you come to the right place. Thanks for your attendance. Hi, and welcome back to the Old Testament podcast. This will be for Deuteronomy 26. And it shall be when thou art come in unto the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee for an inheritance, and possessed it, and dwellest therein, that thou shalt take of the first of all the fruit of the earth which thou shalt bring of thy land, that that the Lord thy God giveth thee, and shall put it in a basket, and shall go unto the place which the Lord thy God shall choose to place his name there. And thou shalt go unto the priest that that shall be in those days, and say unto him, I profess this day unto the Lord thy God that I am come unto the country which the Lord swear unto our fathers for for to give us. And the priest shall take the basket out of thine hand and set it down before the altar of the Lord thy God. And thou shalt speak and say before the Lord thy God, a Syrian, Armenian, Abraham uh, migrated to Aram and from there to the land of promise. A Syrian ready to perish was my father, and he went down into Egypt and sojourned there with a few, and became there a nation great and mighty and populous. And the Egyptians evil entreated us, or treated us harshly, and afflicted us, and laid upon us hard bondage. And when we cried unto the Lord God of our fathers, the Lord heard our voice, and looked on our affliction, and our labor, and our oppression. And the Lord brought us forth out of Egypt with a mighty hand, and with an outstretched arm, and with great terribleness, and with signs, and with wonders. And he hath brought us unto this pl- into this place, and hath given us this land, even a land that floweth with milk and honey. And now, behold, I have brought the first fruits of the land which thou, O Lord, hast given me, and thou shalt set it before the Lord thy God, and worship before the Lord thy God. And thou shalt rejoice in every good thing which the Lord thy God hath given unto thee, and unto thine house, thou and the Levite, and the stranger, or sojourner proselyte, that is among you. When thou hast made an end of tithing all the tithes of thine of thine increase the third year, which is the year of tithing, and thou give it, given it unto the Levite, the stranger, the fatherless, and the widow, that they may eat within thy gates or the city's towns and be filled. Then thou shalt say before the Lord thy God, I have brought away the hallowed or consecrated things out of thine house, and also have given them unto the Levite and unto the stranger, to the fatherless and to the widow, according to all thy commandments which thou hast commanded me. I have not transgressed thy commandments, neither have I forgotten them. I have not eaten thereof in my in my mourning, neither have I taken away aught thereof for any unclean use, nor given aught thereof for the dead. But I have hearkened unto the voice of the Lord, the Lord my God, and have done according to all that thou hast commanded me. Look down from thy holy habitation from heaven, and bless thy people Israel, and the land which thou hast given us, as thou swearest unto our fathers a land that floweth with milk and honey. This day the Lord thy God hath commanded thee to do these statutes and judgments or ordinances. Thou shalt therefore keep and do them with all thine heart and with all thy soul. Thou hast avouched or declared or testified the Lord this day to be thy God and the, and the and to walk in his ways and to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments and to hearken unto his voice. And the Lord hath, av- hath vouched hath avouched thee to this day to be his peculiar or treasured people as he, as he hath promised thee and that thou shouldst keep all his commandments and to make thee high above all nations which he hath made in praise and in name and in honor and that thou mayest be an holy people unto the Lord thy God as he hath spoken. And so that's the end of chapter 26. Come back tomorrow for the next episode. Bye.